This is Cleveland Cass. Concentrate. Come on. Go, go, go. This is Cleveland Cass's for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Bob Arum told us where you went. Where? Bob Arum. I interviewed Bob Arum yesterday. Yeah. And I said, why isn't Eddie Hearn here today? And he's like, he's gone over to Puerto Rico. Yeah. I went to Puerto Rico. I went to see Paco Valcazar, WBO. Yeah. Went to say hello. Um, we haven't done a lot of work with the WBO, but now, three championship fights tonight, loads more coming up. We have more world, WBO world champions than anybody else. We have Joshua, Usyk, Hooker, um, Serrano, Katie Taylor coming up as well. I've missed one, shit. Uh, now I'm gonna get told off by somebody. Maurice Hooker, that, uh, Demetrius Andro, seven WBO world champions. So yeah, so over there talking about the heavyweight situation as well. Um, you must have gone over there for more than just a chat. No, I mean, dinner. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, dinner as well. It was dinner. All right. So yeah, it's good. A bit random. Um, okay, but productive. Yeah, it's good. It's just social. Social. Yeah. Talk to me about this show. Big show. Big signing. Guy I've been after for a long, long time. Dimitri Bivo, I think he's the best light heavyweight in the world. Um, I've been chasing him since he boxed on our Monaco show to sign with us. He knocked out um, yeah, in, uh, round. in one round. Trent Broadhurst. Yes. And Vadim and World of Boxing, who we're working with, probably got one of the best stables quality wise in world boxing. You know, Giasov's on the show, Kuzman's on the show as well. Um, they're very, very loyal people, and they really. You have to build your trust with these people. You know, Vadim, Andre Rybinski, classy people who will, will sign with the people they believe in, with the people they respect. And I think through the Povetkin fight and other fights we've done together, they realise we're the best in the business and they wanted to be with us. And I'm over the moon that on the back particularly of the Canelo Jacobs deal, we announced March 9th, Dimitri Bivol against Joe Smith Jr., Maurice Hooker against Les Pierre, and um, just massive momentum there for the zone moving forward and so much big news coming now, I've got such a big mouth that I just want to tell you what's going to be happening soon on the zone but I'm, I'm keeping it down um, will Callum Johnson feature on this card against will be on Sean this one or our Philadelphia card which Fine. we'll announce next week I'm just sorting all that out I'll sort it out over the weekend we're going to be announcing our Philadelphia card on Monday press conference for that will be next Thursday or Friday um, That's the one Casey Taylor will obviously Yeah, and then you. obviously we've got our Liverpool press conference on Wednesday as well. So Next week, Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. yeah. Is that all right for you? Yeah. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. Um, obviously you announced Canelo and Jacobs yeah. made a fall. Likely to be in Las Vegas at Team Yeah, Bogart. I mean, look, we're, we're co-promoting the event, but obviously Golden Boy have the A-side. They're going to be telling us where it is, but as I believe, it's going to be in Las Vegas. I hope so. And uh, I just, I'm so pleased with Danny Jacobs. You know, because Danny Jacobs was the first guy that took a chance with me in America. And after two fights, like after um, after uh, Arias and Sulecki, people were saying, like, especially that boxing voice geezer, what have you done for Danny Jacobs, man? Oh, you think you've done a good job for Danny Jacobs? Like, hey, as it happens, I've done a good job for Danny Jacobs. You know, we got him a world title shot against Derevinchenko. Now he fights in the biggest fight in world boxing available to him for a fortune. So yeah, and I believe, I believe Danny Jacobs can beat Canelo. I really, really do. I think Canelo, what, you know, to, to sign a deal like this and to dive into a fight like Danny Jacobs when he didn't really have to. We wanted him to, DAZN wanted him to, but in the past, loads of fights haven't happened by teams just going, no, 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 we don't want that. This is a tough fight and I have to respect Oscar De La Hoya and Canelo for taking this fight because for DAZN to move forward, it's all very well, and no disrespect to Rocky because he's our fighter, but it's one thing putting Rocky Fielding against Canelo on the platform. It's another thing putting uh, Canelo against Danny Jacobs on the platform. You US fight fans out there, you're spending $80, 85 That's a $90 pay-per-view. You're not even paying any extra money. This is part of your 999 subscription. It's unbelievable. And wait till you see the other fights that are going to be dropping soon. Will any of your other matching fighters feature on May the 4th card? Yes, they will. Um, got just talked to Eric Gomez last night about it. I'd like to do John Ryder against uh, David Lemieux. Really? Uh, yeah, and a couple of our other guys as well. Um, yeah, so we're, going, we're having fights on each other's cards off, often. Obviously, we just had Tevin Farmer, Katie Taylor on the card, on fielding card. Tonight, they've got Jorge Linares on the card. So it's working really well. I've got to ask you about um, some comments from Dylan White. Obviously, yeah. he's out in Las Vegas for Pacquiao Brona. And uh, he's kind of, I don't know, people have Flirty. kind of picked up 
yeah, yeah. on some of his comments saying that you know he's a free agent yeah, and all he's these free things. Agent. But he works on a fight by fight yeah. basis with you, and that's always how it has I been. I have many of my fighters who I have a very good relationship, who and I presume I have trust with and do a great job for. I work with on a fight by fight basis. Bellew, was Bellew is another yeah. great example. Yeah. So. I sort of sometimes work on the proviso that if you don't think I'm doing a good job for you, if you don't like me, if you don't respect me, you'll go. But that's okay. And if Dylan White wants to go, I'm presuming I've done a great job for him. I think he thinks the same. But nothing surprises you in boxing. If he wants to go elsewhere, he'll go elsewhere. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, you never know with Dylan. Did you see Frank Ron's interview? Yeah, yeah, I saw Frank. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's the same. With a, it's, only the same it's only the same with a with a uh, Tyson Fury stuff. You know, Fury's calling me out. We're speaking. So I don't know, but it's all it's all good. If 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 um, if Dylan wants to go to Frank, well, if Dylan wants to go to PBC, he'll do it. We've, we've done great business together. I hope he stays with us. But like I said, it's a fight by fight because. I just know we've delivered for him every time, so I don't presume. But why wouldn't you, or why wouldn't he commit to you for, for like a three-fight deal or a, because a I, longer I, term? Because he's, I mean, if if he wants me to put a contract, then I will. Mm. But it's like Bellew, you know. Sometimes you have a stronger relationship with people that aren't under contract, you know. So I've never presented Dillian White with a contract because we've got a good relationship. Do you know what he's actually doing in Las Vegas? Yeah, he's probably so going out there. He's been invited out there probably by Showtime. He's just done a fight on Showtime. They've probably invited him out there. There's a few people trying to court him, tickle his balls a little bit. He's probably liking it, actually. But, you know, like I said, I think we've done a great job. He's got to number one in the WBC. He's got to number, number one in the WBO, mainly because of his wins. But I've made him millions of pounds uh, on pay-per-views. But it's not, you know, at the moment... The, the, the conflict will be we're trying to deliver him the Anthony Joshua fight if he doesn't feel like the terms are right he may get the ump if he gets the ump he may want to fuck me off if he fucks me off I go to sleep I sleep nine hours you know is that a possibility that may happen or that he might fuck me off yeah. maybe anything could happen okay. it's just life isn't it if he doesn't respect me if he don't trust me if he don't think I've done a good job he'll go mm. if he does if he's honourable if he thinks I've done a good job he'll stay but I don't, I don't know. I would presume so. We've got a good relationship. He also said that Klitschko was lying about him coming and saying that his comeback rumours were false know. news or whatever. To but there's reports of him signing a free fight deal with his own, so you must know something about I that. I haven't spoke to Klitschko. But what about these reports? I don't know. Two warm-up fights. Come on, Eddie, you've seen it. Is he coming back? Is he fighting Dylan White on the 13th? No. Definitely not. No. Okay. Anything's possible. All I'm telling you is, and this isn't Klitschko related, the news dropping on the zone over the plans over the next month are going to blow everyone. You know there was, you know Canelo Jacobs, right? There was, there was head of networks who were going around, going that fight ain't going to happen. I'll retire if that happens. You know. So no one thought it was going to happen, and the zone delivered it. I'd like to take all the credit, but the zone delivered these fights. And me as well. Golden. Just one final one. Have you got any updates on any of the offers? Have you been sending out a lot of offers out to everyone left, right, what, and centre? For Joshua? For Joshua, yeah. There's a lot going on. I think we'll be making moves very soon. So you've had some sort of progression in one of them? It's been more than one progression. But really? I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you've got the Tyson Fury Wilder 60 40. If I'm, if I'm Wilder, all I'm thinking is, let's go to Purse Bids, baby. 60 percent imagine the bids that are going to come in frank warren did say it was unlikely that was going to happen today well he hopes so because <laughs> he ain't going to win them but so, you haven't actually offered tyson fury a 60 40 split have no, you he, didn't. he said i don't want a 60 40 split right but you you, you said you'd money. be willing to give if him he a wants 60. it no problem right wilder wants it no problem it's out in the open now right but he asked not for a 60 40 split so when frank says he didn't offer him no you're quite right i offered him the money she asked for I don't think Frank and Tyler, I don't, they, they can't really talk, but... Um, well, they're with each other today, so they? perhaps okay, they do talk. Well, I don't know, because yeah. no, Frank ain't phoning me. So, I don't know. But you said you two should get round the table if you want to discuss that? fight. Frank Love did. to. Yeah? Love to. Do you want to film it? I don't think I'd be allowed to film no, it. I think you're right. But they've made it very clear. 50-50 or no fight. No fight. Like 99.9% .9 of the same people in the world think 60 40 for the four belt unified heavyweight champion in a voluntary defence against Tyson Fury is very fair. They don't. 
Are you going to be upset if I title this video, I'd love to sit around the table with Frank Warren to discuss the fight? Is that what we you're saying? Do if, he wants. if he wants to call me up, but he ain't calling me up. The fighter's calling me up. I'm speaking to the fighter. I don't, I don't know who's got the contract. I don't want to interfere with any contract, but... But why are you talking to the fire? Because, the, the... because that's, the convers that's the conversation room. Oh. It's not me pestering a geezer, chasing him around in Marbella. Like, it's just, I've asked where I've got to send the offers. I've not been asked to send the offers to Frank Warren. So I don't know the situation. Fair enough. Good luck with your show tonight. Cheers Maybe up, we'll boy. chat after your show tonight. Okay. Why are you guys so tall? Why are you Brits so tall? We've got to go soon.